Welcome everybody, uh, my name is Dr. David Tomasi and I will be your instructor this semester for the course Intro to Medicine and Healthcare. Um, I just want to begin by saying thank you for your interest uh, in this fascinating field or rather this combination of healthcare related fields um, and I would also like to share my passion for medicine and for everything that has to do with taking care of one another. Now, in this course, we will analyze some of the fundamental concepts related to healthcare and, of course, uh, some basic concepts in medical mathematics, uh, biology, anatomy, and pathophysiology will be analyzed, um, as well as all the different professions that are related to healthcare, from medicine to nursing to psychology to social work, case management, and all the different titles and job related description that uh, healthcare contains within itself. Also, we will examine the history, the anthropology and sociology of medicine. We will talk about different uh, health care systems, different insurance uh, models, um, and we'll also talk about different cultures, uh, different approaches to health care, uh, social policy, public health, and all the cultural components related to this fascinating field. So I would like to begin our discussion with a brief description of the course expectation, structure, and assignment. So if you don't mind logging in and taking a look at your syllabus, I will be reading uh, the document with you right now. So um, course description, this course provides students with an introduction to the professional healthcare workplace. Students will explore clinical standards, current trends and integrative approaches in healthcare, as well as the legal and ethical responsibility of healthcare professionals. Students will gain knowledge and practical skills in communication, workplace safety, physical assessment and caregiving. Basic concepts in medical mathematics, medical terminology, medical philosophy and theoretical medicine, human biology and human development will be introduced. Let's move on to the essential objectives. Number one, identify fundamental components of the healthcare delivery system, including current trends and challenges. Number two, discuss professional conduct in the healthcare workplace, including expected attitudes, behaviors, standards of dress and hygiene, and teamwork in the care of others. Number three, practice effective communication techniques for a healthcare setting to include communication with diverse populations. Number four, dramatize interaction with patients, including telephone conversations, appointment scheduling, patient reception, and patient education. Number five, describe ethical and legal responsibilities in a healthcare setting, including a full understanding of HIPAA, H-I-P-P-A, regulations. Number six, discuss personal and workplace safety techniques including infection control procedures, body mechanics and safe lifting, and environmental hazards in a healthcare setting. Number seven, employ knowledge of basic body systems and human development to discuss wellness and disease states. Number eight, demonstrate mathematical skills and recording standards associated with common measurements, conversions, and calculation in a healthcare setting. Number nine, demonstrate physical assessment skills, including obtaining vital signs, height and weight, and general assessments such as pain evaluation and psychosocial observation. 10, identify and investigate the scope and diversity of career opportunity in healthcare through participation in at least one of the following career exploration and preparation activities, an informational interview, a job shadow, a resume and application interview, or a mock interview for a position in healthcare. The textbook for this course is listed in Canvas. Please uh, take a look at your browser and if you have any further questions, feel free to email me. Let's move on to the methods that we will be utilizing in this course. Discussions, lectures and slideshows, PowerPoints, online activities, including practice, 
tests and quizzes, mid-term and final exams, and finally the healthcare research project and paper, which we'll be discussing at the end of this video. As far as the evaluation criteria, everything is listed within the syllabus in the third part of the document, as well as the course uh, pedagogical description, homeworks and overall assignments. The specific calendar of classes is listed in the very last page of the syllabus. For now, I'd like to talk about the main topics uh, each week. All right, starting with uh, week number one, um, this is the week in which we introduce ourselves, uh, so students and professor introductions, course expectations and overview. I will also add um, extra description on the module number one on the system. Healthcare professions and careers, part one. This will be the very first uh, analysis of this topic. And also part one of medical terminology. The third area of week one will be the comparison between EBM and CAM, or uh, Western Evidence-Based Medicine, Biomedicine, and Complementary and Alternative Medicine, also called Integrative Medicine. So it's going to be a general overview. In week number two, Current Healthcare System and Trends, Clinical, Therapeutic, and Medical Techniques, Individual and Group Treatment, Part 1, and finally, infection control. Week three will be focused on ethical and legal responsibilities, clinical, therapeutic, and medical techniques, individual and group treatment, part two, and the communication process. Moving on to week four, we will be talking about training and education, scope of practice, the first part of medical mathematics, and organization, structure, and function of the human body. In week five, we will address the topic of body mechanics, the first part of integrative, complementary, and alternative healthcare, and physical exercise and mind-body medicine. In week six, we will talk about physical assessment in general, integrative, complementary, and alternative healthcare part two, and a very important topic, clinical research. Week seven, human growth and development, clinical individual versus group standardization of treatment. Week eight, computers and technology in healthcare, healthcare professions and career part two. And week nine will be the week in which we will be talking about therapeutic relationship and alliance and the patient as an individual. Week 10, patient-provider relationship. As you can see, this topic is analyzed several weeks because it's very, very important in all healthcare-related fields. The second part of medical mathematics and documentation and medical records. Week 11, medical philosophy and application, part one. Medical terminology, part two. And week 12, medical philosophy and application, part two environmental safety, and lifestyle management. The last three weeks, week 13, healthcare systems, cultures and costs, public health and policy, and a general review in order to prepare students for the final project. Week 14, job leads and the resume, so curriculum vitae or CV, interview, portfolio and application, research project and the soft deadline for the final paper. The hard deadline for the final paper and project will be the following week, week 15, and we will also focus on celebration of successes as part of this course. Thank you very much, and I will see you all in class.